how to change sale price color in shopify hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can change the sale price color on your shopify store so let's get into it now as you guys can see in this particular template over here i've changed the sale price color of this product and i'll show you guys step by step how you can do that as well and for it i will take i'll go into this copy of my dawn theme and i'll preview this for you guys so you guys can see that this version does not have that particular sale price so i'm going to be editing this copied version and i'll show you guys how you can build your own colorful font as well so let's get into it now the first thing to get started with is your actual Shopify dashboard. So we're going to be editing a little bit of code and elevating your Shopify store is super easy. It's really not as complicated as you might normally think it is. Plus it's so fun and easy to customize your store and it can help in boosting sales, engagement, and the overall impression that your Shopify store leaves. Because if you take a look at some of the standard appearances of Shopify stores, they can be very much distinctive and you can just recognize them from a mile away. So to be able to build a store that is unique is something you want to do because you want your store to have a unique or a very associative brand identity. So we're going to go ahead and go into our Shopify store. Once you do that, click on online store on the left. Now, if you are changing the sale price font colors directly on your live store, in that situation, I always recommend to click on these three dots over here and then click on duplicate and build a duplicated version. Once you do that, click on edit code. Now, why do I recommend keeping a duplicated version of your store? Well, the reason for that is because when you have a duplicated version of your Shopify store, it enables you to revert back to that original version of your Shopify store in the situation where you made a mistake and you need to, you know, go back and fix it or go back and, you know, change it back. So that is why I like to keep a duplicate. But in this particular tutorial, I've already done it on my main theme but I'll do this on the copy of my Dawn theme as well. So once you are in your edit code, you want to search for component dash price and you will find this asset on the left, which is called component dash price dot CSS. So just open this up. Now, if you can't find it, you can just go on ahead and you will see all of these files. You can just close these folders like this and then just open up the assets folder in your assets folder, you can see components and you will see component stash price somewhere along here. The easiest method is definitely to just search it in the search bar. Now, once you have opened this up, you're going to scroll to the bottom and on the bottom, you will see your code will end and then you have one empty line. So just click on return on those empty lines and then build a few empty lines so you can easily copy and paste your new code. Now you're gonna go into the description box and copy this code from over here. Now, one thing to note is whenever you're copying code, make sure to always copy everything identically. So you can't copy it like this. Like if I copied my code like this, it would not work. The reason for that is code is very specific and they have very specific symbols, icons, and symbolic text that needs to be included as it was written. So make sure to copy everything, all three of the lines, and then go back into the code editor of your store and then just paste it over here. Once you've pasted it, you might say, hey, how do I set the price color then? Well, you will see on the code that you just pasted in the second line, it says color and then hashtag EE000. So over here, you're supposed to insert your own HTML hex code. So if you don't know how to find those, you can head on over to htmlcolorcodes.com and from here, choose the color you want. I'll do a different color this time. Instead of red, let's say I want to do a blue color. So move your little cursor to the color that you want to do. Once you've set the color you want, you will see on the top left, it displays the hex code. So just copy this hex code and go back into the code that you just pasted in. 
Now select this hex code that is present already and replace it with your own hex code. Once you've done that, click on save on the top right and then we can click on preview store to see our changes. So you guys can see our new color for the sale prices has been inserted. Now this is only going to be applicable for sale prices. You might want to display them in red or a different color simply because, you know, you have that individualized look or appearance. You also can do a lot of other simple customizations as well. That includes the font sizes as well as product image sizes. So if you take a look at our Shopify store over here, I'll go back into our current Shopify store. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is our current Shopify store. And you guys can see I have this looping video. I have a detailed tutorial on this YouTube channel where you can learn how to add a looping video. But let's say I take this listing over here and I want to change maybe the image size. So to do that, I can go into the edit code and I can search for section dash product or section dash main dash product so just open that up and once you open that up you can scroll to like the 40th or 50th line somewhere around here you're gonna find this code over here where it says media screen and minimum width product large maximum width 70 percent so i'm going to change it from 70 percent to 50 percent and then just click on save and then once i do that and if i refresh my image you're gonna see the image size will be decreased it can take a couple of seconds for the changes that you did to be applied so you guys can see the image size has now moved towards the left because it decreased in size you can customize a lot of other things in your shopify store as well this includes the page you know page font indexing so if i go into the code over here we have the product margin we have the wrapping the media screen then we have the dynamic checkout the payment button payment forms the form elements and then product info so in your info container i change the margin so i'm gonna put this back to 0 0.5 and then on the bottom we also have the uppercase letter spacing margin bottom product titles as well padding the maximum width so let's say it's going to be 70 and then the font sizes and if i want to change those i'm going to keep those as they are and then we also have the maximum width for the buttons as well as the item labels, form quantities. And then after that, you have the product media info. And in this way, you can really customize whatever you want. If you're looking for something specific, just do Command F or Control F, and then just search for that particular item. And usually you can find those items wherever you are looking for them. So we have the heading, font heading scale. This is the font heading scale over here, and we can customize that as well. So once we've made our changes, we can click on preview store to see what the current appearance of our store is. And in this way, you can customize the font colors, font sizes, image sizes on your Shopify store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.